When it comes to influencing, your voice is one of the most powerful tools you have available in your toolbox to influence and change people's thinking when they listen to your speech. And in this short video, I'm gonna share with you seven techniques, seven things for you to think about that will help you enhance your voice, enhance your vocal delivery, and increase your ability to influence and persuade others when you're presenting to them. When you're speaking to an audience, the goals for you are to first up, when speaking to an audience, your goal is to first up, find the vocal expression that's gonna match your content and match the needs of your audience and marry them together. You can do this so that you can have a range ultimately of vocal skills that you can choose from that will help you enhance and deliver a message which influences and persuades others. So how can you go about doing this? Let's start with the obvious one, breathing. Your breathing is the foundation of a good, high quality voice. So to do that, you need to make sure that you have the correct posture. Firstly, stand still and stand with your feet shoulder width apart and have a good, solid posture with your shoulders back. Take deep breaths and when you're speaking, speak as you breathe out. This will help you in a couple of areas. Firstly, with projection and ultimately with comfort in using your voice effectively. So breathing is your first fundamental area that you need to think about to improve your vocal quality. Secondly, it's volume. Volume is obvious. You need to speak at a volume which is loud enough to be heard, but not so loud that your audience feels that you're shouting at them. So you've got to adjust it according to the size of room and the audio qualities that you have in the room. Now, you also need to consider varying this volume because you don't want to be speaking really fast or really at a loud volume you want to bring it down and soften it so softening it is really valuable when you when there are points that you want to potentially emphasize so if you've been speaking at a louder volume when you want to draw the audience's attention in when you really want to get them thinking start to soften the volume start to lower it so that you can get their ears and get their attention now, a good little typical way of thinking about this is for things that you're excited, you're happy about, this is where you lift the volume. And for things that you disapprove of, you lower the volume. So excited and happy, you lift it up, you speak a bit louder. You lower it for things that you disapprove of. Your pitch is the next aspect you need to consider. Firstly, you've got to be aware of what your pitch is. Now, typically the men speak at a lower pitch and ladies speak at a slightly higher pitch, and that's okay, that's nature, that's what it is. What you need to be considerate of is what your pitch is. If you have an exceptionally high pitch or an exceptionally low pitch, you need to think about potentially trying to find that middle ground, either lifting it up or lowering it, depending upon what it is. Regardless of what your pitch is, you need to vary it. So whether you speak at a high tone or a low tone, you need to keep a variety, so you move it up and down to keep an audience's attention and keep their ears engaged. If you speak at the same pitch all the way through your speech, it will eventually become monotone, whether it's high, low, or in the middle. So look to vary it. Ultimately, think about what you do in a day-to-day -day life. When you're conversing with friends, with family, with colleagues, you'll find there that you're naturally varying your pitch so you wanna be looking to mimic that and replicate that when you speak. Make sure you're consciously choosing and finding ways to vary your pitch is really the fundamental thing to think about in this section. Your speaking rate is also crucial. Now, somewhere in the range of 120 to 180 words is a comfortable range for you to speak. That's what you want to be maintaining throughout your speech. Now this has two benefits. If you can find out what your speaking rate is, it allows you to easily prepare a 10 minute presentation because you know you just have to do 10 times whatever your speaking rate is. So that's a great way there for you to project and know how, mu how much content you need to prepare. But again, your speaking rate needs to be varied. So if you speak on average at 120 words a minute, you've got to find ways to lift it up and vary it from time to time so that you speak maybe 130, 140 words for a period and then drop back to a more natural rate. So whatever it is, look at using your, your speaking rate to help provide that interest and factor. Now, 
you can also look to include, increase your speaking rate to emphasize key points. Or you can look to drop it back depending upon where you sit. If you're at the 120 words per minute, I would look to increase your speaking rate to emphasize key points. If you're at the 180 spe end of the spectrum, look to lower it and slower it so that you can speak and emphasize key points so you provide that differentiation. But again, you see it's variety that's providing the impact here. So be conscious of your rate and be conscious of what you want to emphasize with your key points and key ideas. Now the most powerful sound in speaking is actually silence. When you stop, when you allow no sound to come out of your mouth, when you allow this pausing to happen, you allow your audience the opportunity to really digest and to really consider and think about what you have just sh shared with them. That's really powerful in terms of influencing and persuading your audience when you have shared that key idea, that key message, that thing, that idea that you want them to do. You want to pause at the end of it. This does two things. Firstly, it allows them to think about what it is you've just said and it draws in and emphasizes that point. So that point becomes really embedded and burnt into their brain and into their thoughts. So leverage pausing after every key idea that you've shared, every major point that you want your audience to think about, pause. Just for one or two seconds. That pause there will allow them to digest your thoughts. So please leverage the most powerful sound in speaking and it will dramatically increase your ability to influence your audience. Where most people fall down in trying to pause is that they use filler words such as ums and ahs. These are critical for you to eliminate. The reason is that they destroy your credibility. They destroy your authority and their presence when you are presenting to an audience, if you are filling in every sort of gap in the speaking with um, ah, uh, uh, not just those words. Think about other words that you're using, whether it's basically, actually, literally, or a favorite of my children, seriously. Look at those kinds of words, phrases, and sounds that are coming out and eliminate them. They destroy your credibility, they destroy your authority, and they ultimately distract your audience because that's all they start to hear because they are the most repetitive sounds and words that are coming through in your presentation. So work hard to eliminate them. If need be, find a friend, find a colleague that can count them and pay attention to them for you. So at the end of your presentation, as you develop this skill, you start to understand that you starting out with 20 ums and ahs, and then you can reduce it down and be conscious of it. Make a concerted effort to reduce the ums, ahs, and all the other filler words so that you don't destroy your credibility and authority in the process. Finally, you need to clearly enunciate your words. So make sure that every word that comes out of your mouth is clear. Articulate it properly. You can do this by practicing those words that you may be having challenges with, that are struggling to get out of your mouth, by speaking them loud, reading them out loud, and really making a conscious effort to say the last sound that forms the word. So make that effort there and you will see a marked improvement in your ability to enunciate your ideas. So we've covered seven simple ways that you can start to improve your vocal authority, your vocal influence, to really leverage that most valuable tool in your toolbox, your voice. When you can leverage it properly, when you can incorporate pauses, enunciate your words clearly, look at your rate, your pitch, your tone, and how you deliver your voice through your volume, you will see a marked improvements in your ability to influence and share your ideas with others. If you want more advice, more help, why not check out the Public Speaking Skills Academy? I've got a range of great free articles that will help you on your ability to speak in public and become the trusted authority and leader in your field. There are some great online programs that are available to you from my self-training program through to my online mastermind group. Check them out at the public speaking skills academy.com.